Hey, welcome to the series of everything you need to know about Python in simplest possible way. In the series of pattern printing, so far we have seen so many patterns. In this video, we will see how we can actually print this particular pattern. So if you could carefully observe this pattern, we are having this number starting with 1 above and below and keep increasing these numbers in this direction here and here. This direction 3 is increased in this direction and again increased in this direction. So 4 is this direction. So at last we are having this 5 coming in this direction and going to this direction. So I hope you can able to understand the pattern at least so that we can able to get and go ahead and print the pattern. So in order to print this particular old pattern, we will divide this pattern into two patterns. One is this above pattern and another one is this below pattern by printing one after the other by combining both of them we can able to get this whole pattern so let us go ahead and see how we can actually print this particular above pattern first so in order to print this above pattern if you could carefully observe this pattern we are having five rows right row one row two row three row four row five so in order to print these five rows i will use a variable rows and I will assign with 5. So later, if you could observe this pattern, we are also having spaces here, right? So in order to keep track of those spaces, in order to print those spaces, I will use a variable spaces and I will assign these spaces 0. So later, what? Because in this first row, we don't have any spaces before these particular numbers, right? So for that reason only, I am mentioning spaces as 0. So next, what I will be doing is that in order to generate this many number of rows, I will use a for loop for i in range. So we will generate a range of values so that by using those range of values, we need to generate all of these values. So by observing this pattern, we can able to come to the conclusion that by using this particular diagonal, which is values 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, by using these values, we can generate these all values. So first of all, in order to generate these values, we can use this range function to generate those values. For that reason, I will start with 1 and go till the value of rows plus 1. Rows value is 5 and by using this rows plus 1, we can reach values rows by this function range. So in this, in order to know what values we are having in this particular i, I will just print the value i here. So we can able to see the values of i. Those are exactly what we have expected values in the diagonal, which are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So if we could carefully observe this pattern by using these i values, which are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, in every single row, we are starting with value i and going till the value 5. So in the first row, we are having 1 and starting with 1 going till the value. So for i in the second row we are having 2 and going till the value 5. So in the third we are having i value as 3 and going till the value 5. So like this in every single row these are starting with value i and going till the value 5. So these are repeating in every single row right. So when we have repeated statement we generally use loops right. So that is what I will be doing now in this for loop. I will use another for loop for j in range. So as we have discussed, we will generate the range of values which are starting with 1 and going till the value of 5. So for that, starting with i, so for that I am mentioning i and going till the value of 5. So for that I will mention rows plus 1. By mentioning this, we can stop at the value 5 here. So in this for loop, in order to uh, in, in, in place of i, I will replace with j so that we can know what values we are having in this variable j. So if we print this particular thing, we can able to get this like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 2, 3, 4, 5, 3, 4, 5 and 4, 5 and 5. So these are the exact values that we are having in this particular pattern. So we got the values. And the only thing we need to do now is that we need to arrange these values so that we can able to get the whole pattern. So to do that, in here, I will mention an end, a single space. 
So by mentioning this pingle trace, by default, this print having this end parameter with the new line character, by replacing with this space, we can able to get everything a single line like this. So later, what we will be doing is that as and when this j value reaches to the value rows which rows which are 5 we need to print a new line so for that what i will be doing is that as and when we completed this inner for loop i will use a simple print so if i use this print now if i execute this we can able to see the result like this so next what we will be doing is that by this pattern and this pattern is not exactly the same right so we have spaces before these numbers here so we need to get these spaces in our pattern so to do that as and when i enter into this outer for loop i will print space and i will multiply this spaces variable because by by using this spaces variable we are keep tracking of these spaces right so for that reason i am multiplying with these spaces and in the end i will mention nothing because by default end is having new line character we don't want any new line character here for that reason i am replacing with nothing so after completion of this we could observe this pattern after in every single line these spaces are getting increased so that is what the change that we need to do to our spaces variable keep increasing after every single line so for that i am using spaces plus equal to 1 as and when we have completed this particular inner for loop. So now if we execute this, we can able to get the exact pattern that is what we have in here. So you can compare this above pattern and this pattern. So I hope so far you have understood this logic and you have found this video interesting. If that is true, hit the like button and subscribe to this channel. So let us go ahead and see how we can print this particular below pattern. So in order to print this below pattern, we will follow the similar procedure that what we have followed for the above pattern. So for that, in order to generate this many number of rows, I will use a for loop for k in range. So we will generate a range of values as like in the above. So in order to generate this range of values, we need to use this particular diagonal. So by using this particular diagonal, we can able to get all of these values. So first of all, we will generate these diagonal values which are 4, 3, 2, 1. So for that, we will start with rows minus 1. This rows having value 5, rows minus 1 is 4, right? So we will start there and go till the value of 0 so that by mentioning this 0, the range function will stop at the value 1. So on each iteration, we need to reduce with minus 1 because we are reducing these values, right? So this in order to know what values we are having in k, I will just print the value k here. Now, if I execute this, we can able to get the result as 4, 3, 2, 1. And those are the exact values that we are having this particular diagonal here, right? So if we could able to observe this pattern in every single row here, starting with value k and going till the value 5. So in the first row, we are having 4k and we are going till the value 5. So in the second, we are having 3 and going till the value 5. So like that in every single row, starting with the value k and going till the value 5. These are repeating every single row, right? So for that, as we know, when we have repeated statements, we use loops, right? So for that reason, in this loop, I will use another loop for L in range. So as we have discussed the range of values starting with the value k and go till the value 5 which is rows here. So for that reason I am mentioning k and I will mention rows plus 1 because by mentioning this rows plus 1 only we can go till the value 5. So later this particular loop instead of printing k we will print the value l here. So now if I execute this we can able to see the result as 4, 5, 3, 4, 5, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And these are the exact values that we are having in this particular pattern. So now the only thing we need to do is that we will arrange these particular values so that we can able to get this particular pattern. So for that, 
this i will mention this end as the, this fill space and after this after completion of this inner for loop i will mention a print so that when it reaches when this particular l value reaches to the value 5 it will print a new line character so if i execute this we can able to see the result like this so now the only thing we need to do is that we need to arrange and print the spaces before this particular numbers so in order to do that as and when i enter into this outer for loop i will print space and i will multiply this space with spaces variable and i will mention end as nothing so and apart from that in every single row the rows are keeps reducing right so for that reason i will mention spaces minus equal to 1 so that in every single row going it will reduce the spaces so now if i execute this we still not get the exact pattern because we are using this spaces variable for both above pattern and below pattern so let us see what value we are having these spaces after once we completed the above pattern so i am checking the spaces and we are having the spaces as 5 so but in this first row of below pattern we are having spaces 1 2 3 we only have three spaces the first row but we are having the value 5 so we need to decrease two values so that we can able to get the exact spaces for that reason i am mentioning spaces minus equal to 2 so by mentioning this we can able to get the exact pattern so now if i execute this we can able to see the exact pattern that is what we have expected above right so i hope now you can able to understand this logic to generate the whole pattern so if you found any difficulty while seeing this particular pattern i sincerely suggest you to go through the video once again carefully so that you can able to get the whole pattern so now what we will be doing is that we will dynamically take input for rows and print accordingly the pattern so i am asking to enter rows here so if i execute this it was asking to enter rows i am giving three and we can able to see the result one two and like this we are having pattern this exact pattern so now if i give the value nine here so still we can able to get the pattern here starting with one above and below and keeps going to the right side and having this greatest value in shape so i hope now you can able to understand this logic to generate this particular pattern by any number given by the user so if that is true hit the like button in the next video we will see how we can actually print this particular pattern this pattern we are having this ones coming from the left side and going to the continuously to the right side so above and below having the pattern two in this direction two direction three direction three in this direction like that we are having all of these values so to see the particular pattern and to keep updated subscribe to this channel and turn on the notifications to all so that whenever i upload any video you will get the notification so thank you for watching this video see you in the next one